Our objective in this lesson is to model real-life situations using quadratic function. Let us define function. It is a relation that gives a single output number for every valid input number. It has actually three parts. We have the input, also known as the independent variable, the relationship, and the output or the dependent variable. For instance, we have y is equal to x squared and our x is equal to 4. So when we substitute 4 here, this will become y is equal to 4 squared. 4 here is what we call the input. x is squared is the relationship. And 4 is squared, which is equal to 16, is the output. Functions are usually written as f of x. But any letter, whether uppercase or lowercase, like capital G or small letter H, may be used to name a function. Some functions do not have names like y is equal to x squared. So if you have this one, this is just the same as y equals x squared. And this is read as f of x equals x is squared. Today's discussion will focus on quadratic function. Quadratic function is usually in these forms. We have the general form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, while the vertex form f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where a, b, c, h, and k are all constants, and your a here should not be equal to zero. Let's have a quick activity. Am I a quadratic function? Draw a happy face if the expression is a quadratic function and a sad face if not a quadratic function. So we have here f of x equals 2x plus 5. Here is our dependent variable. We have the equal sign and the independent variable. But notice that the exponent of our independent variable is just 1. So this is a function but not quadratic. So we have a sad face. Next one, we have here the dependent variable, the equal sign, and the independent variable, and the highest exponent is 2. So yes, this is a quadratic function. Here I have a variable raised to the second power, but I do not have a dependent variable and an equal sign. So this is just an expression, but not a function. Next one, I have here the dependent variable. I have an equal sign and the independent variable, but the highest exponent of my independent variable is 3. So this is not quadratic. This is a function. We have here the dependent variable, the equal sign. And if I am going to expand this, I will be having x times x, which is x squared. x times 2 is positive 2x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. 2x minus 3x is negative x. Let's copy h of x equals, so I have here a function, and yes, it is quadratic. The graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. This is a parabola that opens upward. It happens when the value of a here is greater than 0. This is a parabola that opens downward, and this happens when the value of a here is less than zero. There are so many applications of parabolas in real life. Here are some examples. We have here a bridge, a roller coaster, a banana, the beam of a flashlight, the path of a dolphin when it swims, and a satellite disk, and many more. Let us try this. Let us determine if the graph implies a quadratic function. If it is not, we're going to use thumbs down. If it is, we're going to use thumbs up. This is a circle. This is not a parabola, so we have thumbs down. This is a parabola that opens upward, so yes, this is thumbs up. This is actually a cubic function. This is not a parabola, so we have thumbs down. This is a parabola that opens upward, yes. 
This is a line. It is not a parabola, so thumbs down. And this one is a parabola that opens downward, so thumbs up. Now, let us do extra challenge. Draw a check mark if the situation is a quadratic function and a cross mark if not a quadratic function. The height of a rocket t seconds after it is launched is h of t equals negative 8t squared plus 500p. Let us focus our eyes on the function. We have here the dependent variable, the equal sign, the independent variable, and yes, it is raised to the second power, so this is a quadratic function. Next one, the cost of buying avocado is given by C of A equals 50A plus 2. How much do you have to pay if you are going to buy 4 kilos? Here is the function. We have the dependent variable, the equal sign, and the independent variable. But the exponent of our independent variable is only 1. So this is not a quadratic function. Last one, a new drug is being experimented. The concentration of the drug in the bloodstream T hours after the injection is given by C of T equals 10 T over T squared plus 3. Find the concentration of the drug after 5 hours. Here is the function. We have the dependent variable and the independent variable. But notice that we have here a numerator and a denominator. This is actually an example of rational function. So be careful with this. Not because you see an exponent that is raised to the second power, it is already quadratic. This is rational, again, because we have a numerator and a denominator that are both polynomials. So this is not a quadratic function. Here are the things that we learned in this lesson. Take time to understand this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Write QF if the given is a representation of a quadratic function and NQF if not. Number one, represent the area of the room if the length is given by quantity x plus 5 and the width is quantity x plus 3. If we are looking for the area, then we are going to multiply the length and the width. And by doing so, x times x will give us x squared. So yes, this is a quadratic function. Number two, we have here the dependent variable, the equal sign, and the independent variable, but it is only raised to the first power. So this is not a quadratic function. Number three, the profit in milk tea business is given by f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1. Here is the function, the dependent variable, equal sign, independent variable that is raised to the second power, so yes, this is a quadratic function. Number four is a picture from a famous game before, Angry Bird. And you will see here a parabola that opens downward. So yes, this is a representation of a quadratic function. And this one is a graph of a parabola that opens upward. So yes, this is a quadratic function. Gets. Our next lesson is representations of quadratic functions.